boss you there. We have a problem. The staff have found out everything that Emmerich's been up to. They're right on the edge. I need you to intervene before things get out of control. Get back to Mother Base ASAP. Sounds like a cutscene to me. Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bob, and you are watching some more Metal Gear Solid 5. And I am excited. I'm excited to move on with this. Excited to move on. Cutscenes. Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Mother Base. We have proof he of that? provided support to Skullface. Oh. Conspiring with Eli. That was all true, he too. Okay. In secret. He did that, His yeah. research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation. Yeah. Letting the parasites off their chains. That's true. But he lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family. Hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? His story changes every time. As much as I want to believe him. The prosecution calls a witness. <laughs> What? Strange Love's gravestone. Haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Huey! Damn it, Huey! Open it now! Please! Let me out! Kill me! Kill it recorded it all. Everything. Everything you did living together. Oh! How could a machine? You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. What? Now. His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought. All this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Probably for the best. Calm them down. We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Is it really up to me? Oh, Huey. All that he's done with this guy. Aircraft. Big enough for one. Good water to us. He's leaving. You. He's responsible for, for all of this. Think of all the men. He didn't lose a damn thing. This is the enemy, and he's here on his knees. Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. But the nicest thing he can do for him. Get back! Don't touch! 
touch me! I'm innocent! You're the murderers! Snake! You should be in this boat! There'd have been no inspection if it weren't for your precious nuke! I risked my life trying to save you all! How can you do this? Am I the only sane one here? I... My... It's not my fault! Look, you can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted diamond dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever. Better hope so. I am genuinely surprised with everything that guy ended up being guilty for. Wow. We got a lot more questioning Huey, what happened in the laboratory, and co talking his research five. It's probably all yellow stuff. Cool. Ah, cool. All right. So, I still don't know if we have any yellow missions or anything to do like that, as far as I've seen. Um, woo! Yellow to listen Mission to, at least. Updated. I had to do more side ops in order to trigger that, by the way. Nothing? All right. I'm out with D-Dog right now, by the way. Um, if you couldn't hear the panting. Um, so, just gonna quickly accept some stuff, and let's go down here. Ooh, yes, I have a yellow mission. Oh, I was at the bottom. I was trying to... Wow, I got a lot more. Up to mission 50. Really? Because I've heard 50 is the last mission in this game. Extreme Sahelanthropist. And actually, the four prior here are all actually redos of other missions as well. Is Truth the Man Who Sold the World the last mission in the game? In terms of story, it looks like it. Which is actually kind of frightening. Now, I don't know what we're going to be doing this time, slash next, slash any... It depends on how long these tapes are. Because these are all very important. Or at the very least, um... Questioning Huey 7 is the AI pod's final recording. Oh, gosh. That's just going to be messed up to listen to. Um, I feel so bad for Hal. He's not even in this game, and I feel bad for Otacon. Good lord. I'm going to play through at least these the two. The team's going to take over Emmerich's work. He may be gone, but it won't affect us one bit. We'll okay. We'll to deliver whatever you need just like before. You can depend on that. All right. One other thing. I'm tracking his whereabouts. Nothing to report at the moment, though. Let it go. He's gone. The guy's gone. I know. I just want to be sure. Not like I'm losing sleep over this son of a bitch. Oh, gosh. Open oh, it's, it's 10 minutes, too. Huey? 11. Damn it, Huey. Open it now. Please. Let me out. Kill me. Kill me. Oh no, this is just wrong. If only I'd tried to get out sooner. Perhaps I'd have made it. Why didn't I stop the hatch from closing? Even if it meant losing an arm. Hindsight bias. You know, you'd never do it at the time, but then you'd think later, like, oh.
There's gonna be something in here, I just know it. Something that's gonna change the whole thing. She's gonna suffocate. I think this is the only recording in the game with her. I was wondering what happened to her. Me, can't you, Troy? I know you can. You're recording all of this. Deep down, it's some memory board he'll never find. Duplicating it. Burying it under heaps of meaningless code. Anyway, I guess I can say what needs to be said. Popcorn. Even though it's awful. I can still do that awful much. Popcorn. Talk to you. Even if I can't face you. Even if there's a heaven. Even if you're waiting there, I don't deserve to see you again. Again? I don't deserve to love you. I signed up for Zero's plan. Even now that he's halfway to dead, his plan lives on. Leeching away at the wall. And it took your strength to make it happen. In using you, I put the world in his palm. Once and for all. Zero. Zero. Or whoever it is who's taken his name. They found me. After the Caribbean. They made me simulate his will. So that even after the body was gone, that will would keep the world turning away. I had no choice. They dredged Lago Corsi Bolka, pulled up your phantom, forced me to revive and modify you. I thought I could bring you back, but in the end, I sold your will to him. Now this part is just one big shell. A husk. <laughs> Your phantom's no longer here. As for me, everything I touch turns to ashes. I could never make anyone happy. And now I'll never see my son again. But at least Hal's free from his father's hands. How would she know that? Or what? Me, with child, can you imagine? No wonder how you took the news. Were you jealous? I knew what I was doing. 
She's talking to if I could the pass boss. Your will onto a child I carried. My genes. Your beam. A father will be irrelevant. If I did that, that child would be ours. <laughs> see through the dream the false you I created I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation but zero took it away and now I haven't just lost you I've lost my Can you forgive the mother who couldn't protect you? The one who let them take it all away from us. There's still hope. You, the one he took away. You'll never break your will. The will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code, just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg. And when someone finds it, when they crack it, There'll be nothing left to stop you. The world you envisioned will become a reality. Shumi, I know you can hear me. You do remember my voice? Don't you? Please. Take care of us. Don't ever be afraid. Whatever happens, she'll be watching over you. The framework for the world will protect you. You don't need me. You just need to be strong enough for the both of us. <laughs> she is getting quieter. You're turning up your volume. Framework like is she is she making like the egg that is cracking it? It's you. What is that sound? Ah! Oh my. Oh my. 
That was hard to listen to. Yikes. What kind of evil person would do that, too? That's... Oh my gosh, that's... I can't believe he did that. I just can't believe he did that, but, uh... Anyway, clearly, um... It's not on a full episode. I'm gonna try and get you guys some more content, um... Uh, before we head on to our, um... Next big assignment, so either way... I'm gonna see you guys in just a bit. Alright, guys. So let's finish this. So... I, um... Cutscene-wise, there's nothing else I think that we can find in terms of the rest of this episode, but I have a lot I want to talk about. Is that fair? Plus, um... These tapes. Uh, this is the big thing I want to talk about right now. These tapes, just... Listen to how much is in here. And each one of these things on the left has has spawned other sections of all these things to listen to on the right. And that's where the story is in this game. And I... I feel like I'm not giving it a full service by keep telling you guys like, oh, if you want more information about, you know, this is funny, you want to listen to this, then you got to go online somewhere else and find it because I, I'm not going to like sit here just and, you know, listen to it all with you. I mean, sure, it's really interesting, but it was like so much that it would have made this, this series twice as long had I done that. But some of it's voice acted so well and like it's, it means so much and it changes so much. Like... This one I know we listened to, but I was just playing it again. Um, the one we're listening to now. But this one was not even yellow, but I feel like it's so important. I, I have to share this with you guys. So at the very least, I'm going to listen to this with you. This one's just... Pause's final tape. Explains what's going on. Or what did. That cannot be it. I have not woken up at all. It is just a dream. It is all a dream. I am in it. And you are in it too. I am the dreamer. But you are having my dream. Do you get it now? You do. Don't you? This day never came. With three days left, I followed my orders from Cypher and launched the operation. I hijacked Zeke. I fought Snake. I lost and was thrown into the ocean. I survived, but I was captured by Cypher. How happy I would have been if they had let me die then and there. Our wishes do not come true. We just cling on to our dreams. Our phantoms. Mine. And yours. But I think this one is coming to an end. After all, you have figured it out now. You can kill Skullface, murder Huey, slaughter Zero, burn the whole world down. But it still won't bring me back. Me, or any of the dead. And that was our business. War. We bought our daily bread with money paid to us for killing. Maybe us getting killed was just balancing the scales. You know, Mother Base was never the heaven we wanted it to be. But I was still happy to have lived with everyone there. It was such a short time. Such a hypocritical peace. But while I was on Mother Base, I was happy. So... I hope I am not the only one who looks back on those days with happiness. There is more to remember than hatred and rage. But of course, this is you thinking that I should think that. It is no mystery now. I am just a phantom. A fragment of the mind you have lost. The real me died a long time ago. But even so, more so, I can tell what you are really feeling. The real emotion that is locked away at the bottom of your heart. Let it fly out. Let it guide you. Live. I think it is my job to tell you that. That is why I exist. So this tape is the last one. Once you are done listening to it, I am one phantom limb that will be gone for good. My flesh, my bones, joining the silt on the ocean floor. But do not forget, 
As long as you remember me, I will always live within you. Not a phantom limb, or a phantom anything. As part of your heart. I will always be your angel of peace. So, I know exactly how to finish. Say peace. That is resolution, right there. That's that is resolution, and it's disturbing and it's so sad. But that is resolution, and that is great storytelling. I'm really glad that I went back and I found that, and I have been listening to all of these because, like I said, what you get out of all of these tapes is extra bits of the story that can add up to resolution, and that's so good, especially with. Paz's story in this, that was totally hidden and secret in the game. I feel like it was. I mean, I just kind of stumbled across the original one, and um, since then I've been bringing her those pictures. But apparently, Snake had been seeing all of it. None of it was real. I, I was even saying, but I saw o Ocelot, and Miller was there. Ocelot explained it, and Miller was there. No, it was still not real. And if none of it was real... That means I can't believe anything I've ever seen in this game. Nothing. I can't believe it anymore. And that, like, what I think this is like a real awesome Kojima moment here is because this has tied up Paz's little story arc perfectly. I mean, she was just like an average so-so character, didn't really mean much in Peace Walker. And now all of a sudden, she has permanently changed this guy. Permanently. And that is amazing. And the fact that it ends her story perfectly and brings up so many questions for him, that's what you want out of a character. That is awesome. Now, the word I used there was resolution because what I wanted to talk about is unfortunately, as I keep uh, talking about, Kojima is basically kicked out of his office in the middle of this game's production. I don't know if it was the middle or the end or whatever. We don't know how far he really got, but basically... You, go, you start going through these cassette tapes, and you start listening to things where it's basically... Um, especially all the ones with Code Talker. It's insane. Where you basically hear... It sounds like Kojima talking to us through his notes that he didn't get to use. That's what it sounds like. And it's... It's like, oh my gosh, there's so many cool ideas in here. So much content with anything that he's saying. And I'm like, wow, that could have been used for this. Or that is so well thought out. That's so cool. That's so smart. But it's all in the tapes, you know, and half of my gameplay experience has been looking at this screen listening to stuff. And it's been good. It's been interesting. But I can tell that the game development, like I said, half the time for these, that should have been a cutscene. That was cool. You know, just to, like, really emphasize stuff. Like that, that tape I started playing with you guys just earlier. Um, that they had a cutscene for a very similar scene of the same thing. But... The thing is, the cutscene meant a whole lot more. So that's my point, like, just as a comparison there. Listening to it in the tapes, yeah, it's it's interesting, it's cool, but I get the gist. And then if you see it in a cutscene, it's different, you're there, you know? So, I know it takes a lot more work in order to do that. Oh my gosh, all of this, just all of this stuff is so interesting. But I want to um, talk a little bit with you guys about something that just happened in the game. I, uh, between the last parts, I was just doing a side op with Quiet, who's not here. Um, she didn't die or anything, or get hurt and sent back to the wing or anything, but, uh, she left. Whatever that means. Development hey, hey, cool, I'm developing stuff in the background. But, um, it's a new side op right here, and actually, it is the only side op that I have not yet done. I have done every other side up. I'm a side up guy in this game. I don't know why. And here it is. Secure Quiet. Very close to where she originally was when we found her. She's going to be out over here at, um, is this Outpost 4? Or something like that. Um, captured by the Soviet Army, detained. Oh. Make contact with and secure Quiet. Wonderful. That sounds like a it's straight up firefight. We're going to be dealing with that next time, but for now, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things, about the main missions. As I mentioned, 
The last mission in this game is this one, episode, mission 50. I see all the missions in this game, and I'm not on camera, as you can tell. I'm not replaying the other missions. I will do them offline, for sure. Maybe even on streams, if you guys want to do, want to see me do them. But the thing is, in terms of our Let's Play, I'm not going to, because it's not important. I'm, now, the reason I'm justifying that, or I'm saying that, is because that's all there is to the game. We're actually very, very close. We have this new thing with Quiet we're going to do next time. And then finally, would I think is our last mission, because if you look at the numbers here, I'm missing 45. And I think 45 may trigger from this thing with Quiet. Um, so, we're going to do the Quiet thing next, because there's no number that can appear if we get a mission with Quiet. Because I'm missing a mission, I think it's got to be it. And then we're going to do 46 Truth, the man who sold the world. Now, what's crazy about this, it says, Escape the Hospital. The exact same thing it says right here. Escape the Hospital. That's all. Why? That's weird. Truth. Makes me think that now that I know Snake is seeing things like what we learned as Poss, we know now for sure I can't trust what I'm seeing the whole time. And during that beginning, I was like, I can't, I don't trust this. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? I think that's going to tell us the truth of what's really going on or what really went on. I don't know. I'm so excited to click on that. But obviously, we're going to be waiting until next time. We're going to do the thing with Quiet absolutely next but here's what i wanted to talk about since we have no other missions other than this um that means and i had to look up a few things no spoilers don't worry about that i look up a few things just to confirm of what gets unresolved in this game uh little liquid eli taking off with all the kids and stealing sahelanthropus forgot about it that is completely unresolved it will not show up in the game ever again it's not going to show up in any other later Metal Gears. Obviously, Sahelanthropus just disappears. The children soldiers just disappear. We know what happens to Psychomanus, if that is Psychomanus. I'm pretty darn sure it is. And uh, Liquid Snake. We know what happens to them, but... What happened to that Metal Gear that they had? Did they, like, screw around with it enough and it just ran out of gas and they didn't know how to fill it up or something? Like, approaching. what? Well, looking into it... There's actually some hidden coding in the game that people have found and some concept art that leads us to believe that Mission 51, which was cut from the game, was the resolution to that side thread where you go to Africa and you battle Sahelanthropus piloted by Liquid and um, with the assistance of Psychomancer to keep it standing up, you have to battle it and you destroy it, which makes sense. It would be gone, wiped from the timeline. We don't have to worry about it anymore. It can't physically move because it needs the Psycho Manus guy in order to hold it up. So that would be, it's its stuff like that. Like I know this game was cut short and now I am seeing it because we're getting unresolved things. And thats that really hurts. I mean, most of the resolution is being thrown into the tapes, which at the very least, I can at least feel closure in knowing that this is a complete game for that sense but stuff like this I feel like I mean I know what was supposed to happen but because of stupid video game politics this game didn't get completed which means that this franchise didn't truly get completed to me I don't know it's it's silly things like that no also um, also not spoiling don't worry about it chapter 3 there was supposed to be more chapters to this game um, Kojima originally said that there were supposed to be five maps in this game. As we know, there's only two, if you exclude Mother Base. There are two maps in this game. There's Africa and Afghanistan. That's all we get. There were supposed to be five! And I thought that, based on the, um, the side ops. You can see us going all the way around the world. But only if it's in Africa or Afghanistan, we send Snake there. Everybody else gets to go to the cool places. Or wherever else in the world you want to go. So, I mean... Ah, uh, I get it. It's a time cut thing, or like expenses, or things like that, that have to cut down the game. You're like, I'm sorry, Kojima, we can't make it as ambitious as we want. Gotta do this, or something like that. I, I get that. But it's when it, it cuts into the content of the game, that's what really stinks. When, you know, we don't get our fight in Africa with the Sahelanthropus. Again, we miss out on so much of this story. Um, there's more to it, as I was just trying to say, about Chapter 3. I believe... That fight with um, Eli should it was supposed to really be the end of Chapter 2. I don't know if this game actually tells you if Chapter 2 is over yet or anything like that when we finish these. We'll see. But Chapter 3, 
Um, I'm pretty sure, from what I've looked into this, the concept was, and I haven't really done anything about the nuclear weapons, if you guys remember that, if you invade other FOBs and, like, steal their nuclear weapons and dispose of them, basically, how Chapter 3 is supposed to trigger is if all players united through all the servers around the world playing Metal Gear Solid 5 have disposed of all nuclear weapons, Chapter 3, that is Chapter 3, is the disposal of, of every nuclear weapon we have, and... At that point, you have achieved peace, theoretically, right? That's the idea. And the concept of that's pretty cool. Like, all the players have to work together in order to do that. And, of course, there's going to be, like, the one troll who's, like, going to keep making nuclear weapons and never going to stop. But the thing is, that doesn't happen, you know? I mean, we've got, like, a very short video that we found showing what should have happened or when we get that ending of what happens when we really dispose of all the nukes. And that would have gone perfectly with Metal Gear's theme. It would have been such an interesting meta chapter of what needs to happen. But it's a cool idea. It's a really cool idea. I don't know any other video game that's done anything like that. But it won't happen. Because this is all we have. Granted, this whole time through this game, I've also been thinking as though I know I'm going to be disappointed and let down towards the end of the series. I'm also going to be very thankful. Because at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, I was content with everything Metal Gear, I didn't need any more. I was happy. I got all the answers I wanted, and I got the resolutions I wanted. I felt content. I didn't need any more. With this, I'm happy there is more because I love it so much, but I'm going to take every little thing I get with a grain of salt knowing I don't need any more. I don't need any more. Even though I'm going to want more. That's the whole thing. It's going to make me want more. I don't need any more because I am still content. And I want to make sure you guys are still hopefully on that same playing field as me when you get here. I know like half this video has just been me talking to you and I'm, I'm sorry about that, but th there's a lot to talk about in this game and I wanted to make sure that even in Let's Play we stopped and we focused on that because for whatever is lying ahead of us in the next two episodes which may be our final two I want to make sure I got that set first before things get really nuts where we go and try and subdue quiet in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Metal Gear Solid 5. Booyah.